Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy. welcome back to another You Made What? So today I have for you a recipe that I alluded to in my five days of Bugmas. If you miss my five days of Bugmas, it was a little countdown to Christmas in which I ate several bugs and not bugs, including earthworms and tarantulas, but you know, they're like in the same creepy crawly family. Yeah, which was very fun and entertaining. So if you missed those episodes, I should put the links down below. And yeah, I think I learned a lot about eating bugs or at least the texture of them. <laughs> So today I have my favorite oatmeal chocolate chip recipe in which I'm gonna to substitute a little bit of the cricket flour and see how it affects the flavor of the cookies. So if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe for more eating. All right, let's get bacon. So here's our packet of cricket flour and I shall put the information where you can find this in the description box. So we add one third of a cup of cricket flour to our bowl. Next, we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour. Then a half teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of baking powder. Lastly, half a teaspoon of salt. Then whisk everything together. How's it smell? It's great, Katie. In a mixing bowl or in a mixer, cream one half cup of butter or one stick. Add your half cup of brown sugar and half cup of granulated sugar. Next, add one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of milk and one egg. Mix until well combined. To our wet ingredients, we're going to add our dry and then just give that a good mix. Papa, we're making cricket flour. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna add one cup of old fashioned oats and three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Then just mix this briefly until everything is combined. And then we're gonna use a small ice cream scoop and scoop the dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Bake in a 350 degree oven for nine to 12 minutes. And there you have it, Cricut chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. All right, so that was a pretty straightforward cookie recipe. And now for the moment of truth, let's have a taste. Here's my beautiful cookie. I got about 14 of these cookies. They're pretty large. If you were to make them smaller, you would probably get a couple dozen. And here it is, just out of the oven. And it looks marvelous. It's a little bit darker than normal. This is how I like my cookies. I like them chewy and a little bit soft in the middle and crisp on the outside. So it looks Gorgeous. The texture looks pretty much the same as when I normally have them. And you can see a little bit of the oatmeal in there as well. All right, let's give this a taste. Eat the lucky mas. Mmm. <laughs> it just tastes like a delicious oatmeal cookie. What, so when I tasted crickets in my Bugmas video, I actually quite liked them. They had a really nice nutty flavor to them. But when I baked with them, I don't taste them at all. All I taste is delicious oatmeal cookie, which is soft and chewy in texture, has a nice oatmeal flavor, tons of chocolate chips, and of course it's very just sweet and vanilla. It's just a delicious oatmeal cookie. But I don't taste any of the cricket. And in fact, I think if you were to give this to someone and not tell them, I don't think they would ever notice that there was cricket flour in there. So when I did some research about baking with bug flours, they said to substitute about a third of the flour with the bug flour. So that's what I did. And perhaps that's why there's no noticeable difference in terms of flavor. It's delicious. So I do have some additional flour, so maybe I'll experiment baking some bread or biscuits or something like that. And maybe the flavor of the cricket will be more pronounced since they're not other things like vanilla or chocolate or you know other flavors to kind of mask it. This being the first time I ever baked with bug flours, I definitely give a big fat thumbs up and I would encourage you to try it as well because yeah I don't taste a thing quite delicious actually all right let me know in the comments below if you would ever attempt baking with bugs and if so what would you make let me know I want to know all right I hope you guys enjoy that I hope you guys learned something don't forget to subscribe like and follow and I shall see you in my next video toodaloo take care bye all right let's see what's inside wow a lot so sauce cheese meat Happy face, I'm a happy face, I have a happy chocolate face.